All right, so let's look at this jam physics question on electrostatics, okay? Um, this is from the second law of electrostatics. The question says, the force between two charges is 120 Newton. If the distance between the charges is doubled, all right, doubled, the magnitude of the force will be, you have option A, 60 Newton, option B, 30 Newton, option C, 40 Newton, option D, 15 Newton. All right. All right. So this is um, a question uh, we ask to find. Um, first things first, solution. First things first, identify that this is um, a question from the second law of electrostatics. All right. The second law. Second law of electrostatics. All right. And this law says that if I have two charges, let's say Q1. And let's say Q2 such that Q1 and Q2 are separated by a distance of let's say R. Okay, distance between Q1 and Q2, let's say it's R. Then from the second law of electrostatics, it says that the force of attraction between these two charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of their distance apart. All right. We discussed this in our previous class. I would leave a link to that class in the video description. But for now, just go straight to the mathematical form. For the mathematical form, we'll have that F is equal to K Q1 Q2 all over distance squared. That becomes R squared. As I said, I've already explained this in our previous class. I'll leave a li link to this video um, in the video description. Okay, so check the video description after now. You see a link to this class all right we derived this and explain what this means in details all right let's look at this question here it says that um the force between two charges is 120 newton all right let's take this as our first equation we know that the force between two charges f is given by kq1 q2 all over r squared and we said the force between these charges is equal to 120 newton so we get our first equation our first equation is that k q1 Q2 all over R squared will be equal to 120 Newton. All right. So here's your first equation there. All right. What's next in here? The next thing here says that um, if the distance between the charges is doubled, all right, when we say distance is doubled, what does it mean? Does it mean the distance is being squared or it's times 2? So let's say I have this distance here as R. Um, okay. Let me use this illustration here. Let's say I have a particular distance from here to here. And I said this distance here is equal to, let's say, 5, for instance. If I double the distance, it means I will take two of it, which is from here to here, another one again here. I'll call this perhaps another 5. Record that our initial distance was 5. Why? If we double the distance, it becomes 5 plus 5, which gives us about 10. In essence, if I'm doubling a particular thing it means i'm taking two times of it that's what um the distance being doubled means all right two times of it hence this means that if the distance is r if i double r what i'll have is 2r this is r being doubled or distance being doubled okay i have 2r in essence my new um, diagram would now look something like this all right um we have q1 here we have Q2 here, and what we have here is 2R. 2R means the distance has been doubled. So in this case, what would be the second law of electrostatics mathematical form for this? It would be that F is equal to the same K, Q1, nothing happened to the first charge, Q2, nothing happened to the second charge, all over, distance is being doubled. So this double distance, don't forget, it's all, it's all over R squared, as you say here. For this, it was all over R squared. But if you've doubled the distance, it becomes all over. The new distance now becomes 2R. So it becomes 2R all squared. So I have this. All right, so if I work on this, this will be equal to, let me simplify this. I have F, it's equal to K, Q1, Q2 all over. For this, if I expand this, this becomes 2R all squared will simply be equal to 
if a, if a term is being squared, it means you're multiplying it by itself. So it becomes 2r times 2r, and that's equal to 2 times 2, that becomes 4, r times r, that becomes r squared. So in essence, 2r all squared gives you 4r squared. Okay, let's call this one here. Let's call this first force. This one we did here. Let's call this force 1, per se. Let's call this force 1. This was before the distance was doubled. Okay, now when distance is doubled, let's now call this force 2. So I'll call this force 2. That's when the distance is doubled. Okay, now they're asking you, what is the second force when distance is doubled? How do you solve this? Now, all you have to do here is just to do a bit of fact, um, factorization, all right? Now, all you have to do here is that if you observe this, I can express this same concept as 1 all over 4 into k, q1, q2, all over r squared. It's the same thing because 1 times k, q1, q2 will give you k, q1, q2 which means it's correct. Also, 4 times r squared gives you 4r squared, and that's correct. All right. We'll call this from here, if you look at this, but we already have an expression for kq1, q2 of r squared, which is from equation 1. So from equation 1, look at this. You can see that kq1, q2 over r squared is equal to 120 newton. So I will say put, if I put equation 1, let me call this equation 2. Into equation 2, that would mean that F2, the new force, it's equal to 1 over 4 into the value of kq1, q2 over r squared. We got it as 120 or 120 newton. And this is equal to 1 over 4 times 120 gives you about 30. So the answer becomes 30 newton. Let's go check our options. Um, your answer should be one, your answer should be 30 newton. Let's see. All right, so we have this. So the answer here is B. So B is the answer 30 newton. You can now come here and say answer answer it's equal to B. So this is how you get this question. Okay, so that's the answer. All right. So I've prepared over 100 classes on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects on my website, okay? Simply visit my website, www.jonaimano.com forward slash courses, and then you see the jam slash y classes, okay? I prepared over 100 classes on the major topics. For each of the topics, I've discussed um, past questions for the last 10 years, all right, for each of the topics. To get access to it, simply visit my website, jonaimano.com forward slash courses, okay? Create an account with the website, and then you can now proceed to get the course or you can get it from my channel membership all right so you can also check my jam slash my jam slash yx channel membership all right i'll leave a link to um, both my website and my channel membership in the video description all right so check video description you see a link to access both my website and my channel membership all right okay then so if you enjoyed this video as usual hit the like button right like this video leave a comment Comment on this video, all right? Um, if you have a question, leave the question in the comment section. If you enjoyed the class, tell us you enjoyed the class in the comment section. If you have other topics you'd want us to treat, also leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe too. If it's your first time or if you're here to subscribe, please do well to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, please share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you as usual and see you in our next class.